here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I really hope your day is awesome so far. Today we're going to do this. Look what I found in the morning gecko enclosure, guys. I'm going to look mainly around the head and the cloaca. A little drops of this in. Yep, another nice full shed. Does not like people so much. So guys, looks like the bald python shed out. And we're gonna see. Looks like a full shed. One thing that I usually do is that I look at the snake before I look at the shed. You see, it looks like there's no stuck shed. No, I wouldn't say there's a stuck shed on this snake. So guys, what you want to look for when it comes to if your snake is shedded out completely you want to look mainly around the head and the cloaca because if they're stuck shed around the head especially around the nose they can't breathe so good and around the cloaca they can't pass you know the poop or the pee and if they're stuck shed here they can get constipated so it, it's really important around the head and the cloaca but this snake looks like or she is completely shed out and you see how beautiful she is and yeah, sorry about the noise in the background, but that's the incubator. So, what to say about we put this little girl back and uh, let's look if the corn snake has shed out. How about we see if the female has shed out? I do see a shed here actually, and this is the first time she's actually shed since I got her. And here's a shed, I don't know if you can see it. Camera focus, like this I think, maybe this will be better, here we go. It's not a full shed because I don't have the tail here, but I have the head, so the head, you can see there, the eye caps and everything, it's fully shed out. So let's see if we can find her, put this aside, it's here, no, she is. Nope. And she's under this. Be careful. Oh, there she is. Oh, here we have it. Here we have a good example. She hasn't shed out completely. You see the edge there, the whole skin. So, we'll have to put her in water, actually. So, how about I'll show you what I do when a snake has uh, trouble shedding. So first, I'll put some lukewarm water in the bin here. Not much, you don't want her to drown. That should be... Enough, or at least because she's not a big snake. Then we'll put a couple of drops of this in. We'll help with the shedding. Then we'll just put her in. See how this would work. Yeah, of course it's gonna try to escape. And then we leave her in here for about maybe an hour and after that hopefully she'll be able to shed out completely. I'm about to check up on a male corn snake and I see a shed here as well. Hopefully he shed it out completely. See, take the shed out. 
you know when the shed is like this you almost don't need to look at the snake because here I can see almost right away it, it's a complete shed yeah I caps like this again come on light the head and a complete tail. The camera don't want focus but you see. But how about we take him out anyway. You can see how beautiful he is. He's so cool. And these bins, I'm gonna put them in bigger bins soon, in a month or so, because they are starting to outgrow them, especially this guy. Yeah, he's a cool little dude. Yeah, we'll put him back. And here we have another nice full shed. This is from the Boa Imperator. See the eye caps? Yeah. How about we take a look at Gunner? I actually think I saw poop in here. You guys have him? Probably he'll get mad now because he does not like does not like people so much. But I actually think there's a poop in here. I think I saw it. Here actually. Hear him? Oh, watch out, here it comes. He's so mad. But he's just cute. Yeah, we better leave him alone. So he doesn't get stressed out. He is a cranky boy. So we'll leave him be for now. what I found in the morning gecko enclosure guys this is a baby crested gecko and now you're probably wondering what a baby crested gecko is doing in the morning gecko enclosure well it used to live a breeding pair of crested gecko in this enclosure but that is the same breeding pair of crested gecko that I exchanged for the morning geckos so the female 
Someday she apparently laid eggs in the enclosure. And now at least one of the eggs have hatched. You usually come in pair, the baby crazy geckos. So we have to have a rice open for the second one, but I'm gonna set up a smaller enclosure for the babies. And yeah, we'll start by taking this out and put in the smaller enclosure. So I set up a small exoterra enclosure right next to the morning gecko enclosure. So we start by misting it. And I've actually had crazy gecko babies in this before, so it was already, you know, the substrate in and all that. So we start by missing it up. Now let's grab the guy and put it in this enclosure. Here you have the little guy. We're we'll going to put him in the enclosure. And here, this new hole. So guys, now we're going to see if we can remove the stuck shed. See how she's done. I have this if I have to, you know, make her crawl through it. And then the stuck shed should stick to this. But we'll see if I can remove it with my fingers first. Probably not. Yeah, I could actually. Go. Look here. Here we go. The stuck shed is gone. It's actually that easy. She's been here for about an hour and yeah. Yes, I hope that the camera focuses on this. But this is the way I do it, and it always works for me. So now let's put it back. So guys, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, even though it was probably a bit of a short video. But I want to show you something at least. So again, thanks so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit like and comment on the videos. It will help me out a lot. And also, don't forget to check out my brother's channel. I will put a link to his channel in the description down below. He, his channel's name is Thomas Serpents. And I'll leave with this, guys. Take care, be kind to someone, and at least try to show other people respect. So, till next time, goodbye.